Hello everyone, this is Spacelist and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am going to be telling you about Survey 6. Survey 6 was the 6th lunar lander of the unmanned survey program that reached the surface of the moon. This spacecraft was the 4th of the survey series to successfully achieve a soft landing on the moon obtain post-landing television pictures, determine the abundance of chemical elements in the lunar soil, obtain touchdown dynamics data, obtain thermal radar and reflectivity data, and conduct a vernier engine erosion experiment. Surveyor 6 was launched on November 7th of 1967 at 739 UTC from Cape Canaveral Launch Complex 36B on an Atlas SLV-3C rocket with a Centaur D upper stage. It carried a television camera, a small bar magnet attached to one foot pad and an alpha scattering instrument as well as the necessary engineering equipments. It landed on the moon on November 10th of 1967 at 116 UTC in the Sinus Medi, a small mare on the moon located at the intersection of the lunar prime meridian and the lunar equator which makes it the closest point on the moon to the earth. Lunar soil surveys were completed using photographic and alpha particle backscattering methods. A similar instrument, the APXS, was used on board several Mars missions. In a further test of space technology, Surveyor 6's engines were restarted and burned for 2.5 seconds in the first lunar liftoff on November 17th at 10.32 UTC. This created 700 newtons of thrust and lifted the vehicle 4 meters from the lunar surface. After moving 2.5 meters west, the spacecraft once again successfully soft landed and continued functioning as designed. The successful completion of this mission satisfied the survey program's obligation to the Apollo project. On November 24, 1967, the spacecraft was shut down for the two week long lunar night. Contact was again made on December 14, 1967 but no useful data was obtained.